Greetings to the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, regardless of your time zone. We are the children of Juku Kikabiamad who have assembled before his presence this morning to thank him for his mercies, for all he has been doing for us. Juku Kikabiamad, glory to your name. We are bringing before you our leader, Mazin Nandu Kano. That's the person you have chosen to lead us through this difficult period. Chuko Kikabiyama. Strengthen him. Give him the courage. His family. We bring all of them before your presence. With all these difficulties, he still stands firm. He still sacrifices for your children. We will continue to stand behind him. We will continue to comfort him. To show him up. He is a strong leader. We are also remembering all those that are assisting him. Strengthen them. Because what we have is big trouble. And these people have volunteered. We are also bringing the disadvantaged, the oppressed, those that have been silenced due to old age and man made wickedness. comfort them their relatives most of them are in pain there are some that are very very hungry that cannot afford one meal a day feed them likewise those that are sick In the hospital, those that cannot even afford to step out from their rooms, we bring all of them before you. We have no other savior other than you. All this we beg in your name. He say, he say, he say. Today is November 15, 2019. This is live broadcast from Radio Biafra USA. It's coming to you. Through Radio Biafra, London, and Amazi Uchime. For my name is Mazi Chukwe Kalozi. Let's get down to our issues as always. And when we get that done, we will tackle the ridiculous headlines. We talk about things that have been happening and we have more taking place. We witness the unthinkable happening. We hear the unhearable and we wonder what environment we find ourselves and how we got there. What's in there for us? That is my question. How much longer can we be subjected to all these kind of tortures, humiliation, and killings? We stand and watch. We look. We mope. Remember Bia Foundation Inc. Charity. Make your payments. There are two options for you. The online donation through Zelle. The recipient name should be Bia Foundation Inc. And the email address is bia67foundation at gmail.com. Or you can make a certified payment. That's the second one. By using money order or cashier's check. And the cashier's check should be made payable to Bia Foundation Inc. 
and you mail it to Bia Foundation Inc. P.O. Box 801519 Aquart. That's A C W O R T H Georgia. The zip code is 30101. And you put your name and your address on the envelope. Uh, you have access to this at uh, www.ipobusa.org in case you have any questions or you have forgotten what we said is posted there and uh, that will be accessible to you so go there and uh, take a look at it and then you have the um, Anambra with regard to Anisha and the Newi station project Please make your own contribution. And the number that you call to uh, forward your receipt or this is plus one nine two nine Mazumba DK uh, frequents the radio to make the announcement. So uh, you should be able to uh, get it going. Um, our prayer starts to, uh, started on the 14th. So uh, they, the, the, those that have their turns today will be coming on the air to do the needful. So this is the announcement. Oh, 
Thank you very much. That's it for the announcement uh, for today. Um, where do we start? Let me give you a quick uh, reference uh, with regard to where you are. We have people that make an announcement. They speak. They speak on your behalf. And you wonder where the speaker is coming from. This is uh, dirty politics. It is dirty politics in the sense that somebody is killing you. And at the same time, he's giving you remedy. He's blowing hot and cold. Somebody injures you and applies um, antiseptic. And at the same time, injuring you some more. And the question is, what is that person's intention? There are some ugly people, when I mean ugly, in mind, not in... Um, beauty or how that person looks tall short fat thin um lorry nose um Pujo nose that's not the point what i'm saying is there are some people that are ugly in mind the good the bad and the ugly Somebody's good, is good. Somebody's bad. And the one that is bad is in the middle. Doing bad stuff. And the one that is ugly is ugly to the sense that you don't know how to, how, you, don't, you don't even know where to put your hands on. That's ugly. When you have an ugly situation, you're dealing with a situation where you don't know what to do, how to handle it. And the bad is uncle or brother, whatever, to ugly. And they are the same ten and tempest. We have been watching. We have been looking. And the same atrocity is still going on. It is still going on. Um, there, was, uh, uh, there was what somebody posted today about uh, the fallen is still ravaging their, their farmland. And what came across my mind was, what do you think? Is it new? It is the same old atrocities going on today, 11.15. You have a governor. Notwithstanding, you have people. You have people that have seen the atrocities. They are victims of it, but they cannot reason properly. They cannot stand to defend their inheritance. 
they cannot stand to defend their ancestral land, the land given to you by your father, by your grandfather, by your great grandfather. You let somebody from Futajela come and take it away from you. And we are here moping. Uh, they have introduced their uh, head speech. Um, let me really zero, zero in on this. And when I say zero in on it, you have a Kuremadu there. You expect him to talk. Have you heard him say anything? No. You have Eastern senators. Have they said anything? No. Who are you hearing his voice? Abaribe. And you are dangerously approaching your death. And nobody from the East is talking. They go to the Senate, they sit. And one person will introduce a bill that will silence every human being. And they stand and watch. They don't know how to say no. It will not happen. The same people introducing bill, the bill that they describe as hateful speech, they have failed to tell you what that means. Rather, they compound sentences upon sentences to tell you that if you criticize a governor, you will die. You will be hanged. If you criticize a, 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 um, a secretary, you will die. If you criticize a head of state, you will die. And you say you are a democratic uh, institution. What is the democratic foundation if when somebody expresses his opinion, whether he favors you or not, whether you like it or not, that warrants death penalty. And you call that democracy. Then my question is, is that the way it works? And who are the masters of this uh, hateful speech? They are. And you talked about injuring other people. And your people are there destroying the farms of Biafrans. All over Biafra land and Oduduwa land. They are there destroying their farm land. Destroying the crops. Uprooting their cash crops. When are you going to apply the death penalty? If their actions are not hateful, discriminatory, what else will you attribute to that? And that brings me to this point. You talk about hateful speech. When you speak the truth, your rank, your status, your assumption to be above the law precludes you, stops you from being realistic and this is why we are not moving forward we are moving backwards and this is why biafra must come may chuko kikabia ma guide our leader through this difficult period and let's proceed he will be on the air 7 p.m he will be there We are there watching. Most of us are there looking. Most of them are there not even bothering. No, 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 no. They are, they claim to be Biafras. Even if you claim to be a Nigerian, this struggle will benefit you. Our venture will be of importance to you because as of now as of now you don't know where you are headed. You can sit down and talk you can sit down and say whatever you want to say. 
we are doomed. We are doomed. For those that are trying to save uh, the poor, the innocent, they are described as people that spread hateful speech. They don't want you to talk. They don't want you to say anything. Once you open your mouth, that is hateful speech. What they do is sit down and commit murder, kill innocent people. Then you wonder where they got their degree from. You wonder how they qualified uh, uh, to be senators. You wonder how they got to be intelligent to interpret the law for you. They make the law based on their religion. That is the way they base their law. They are talking about things that cannot in any way benefit you. Things that in no shape or form will be of use to you. And then you get your people telling you, your own people that are supposed to be protecting you, that they present themselves as governor, they are telling you, oh, if the full animal kills, kills you, you will get 500,000. Is that what the life of the person they have taken? A cattle husband kills a professor. You pay the family, not the dead man. 500,000. That, that is if the, uh, the family will have the guts to go and collect 500,000. And I wonder what uh, 500,000 will do for you. So compare the state of mind of the people that are trying to finish you. You see, they put all these things in place. They have been planning this for a very long time. Now, you see how they are slowly revealing it. Unveiling it. And we look. All we do is look. We cannot talk. And you wait for our leader to talk. You wait for our leader to talk for you. And he is talking. Despite all that he is going through, he is talking for you. And where are those people that you uh, run behind their convoy? You run behind their convoy, jumping up and down like a monkey. And at the end of the day, At the end of the day, you are back to square one. You see, everything that you have happening is in the south. Everything is happening in the south. You remember when um, we were talking about our faith? And when we started, people were looking at uh, Biafrans as um, 
this and that. And we'll never see what they are talking about. They will never consider their faith. They will never consider what they have been going through. No, for the fact that they are their friends. For the fact that they look at them, they say they are Easterners, Igbos. It is not them. It is you. Therefore, you deserve to die. you see see what I mean you deserve to die they do all they want to do they punish you they take your things and then after taking it they will sentence you to death they will destroy everything you have and you are watching You're watching. Well, let us um, go in detail. Let us go in detail. Buhari is not the one in charge of his government. Something is wrong, not a use. Speeches. Um, this is a speech made and listen very carefully when you talk about hateful speech and freedom of speech President of Ariwa Youth Consultative Forum Yerima Shetima has said President Mohamed Buhari is not in charge of his administration recall that Buhari had in a statement last week maintained that he was in charge of his government and not his chief of staff Abba Kiari. The president is in, absolute, is, is in absolute control of his government. The media should stop attributing non-existent powers to some people. There cannot be anyone too powerful for President Buhari to control. This statement was right. Reacting, to, reacting in an interview with Daily Post, AYC Chief General revealed that a team of cabals are in charge of APC led government. Shetima said, I totally disagree with Buhari. From the day this present cabinet was formed and Buhari asked his ministers to report to his chief of staff, I knew he is not in charge of this government. What do you expect when they choose to tell Buhari what he wants to hear and deprive him of what he is supposed to know? Is it the truth? You decide. Is that hateful speech? I don't know. Is that the truth? I don't know. But you know that I know. And you know that you know. But the classic case is I don't know. You decide. You are in control of your government. So you said. And the atrocities are going on. All borders are closed. But the northern border from Daura is wide open. It's wide open. People are being killed on local streets by the police and the army. And you are a country and you say you have a government. Obasek, you said you're ready to die for Edo people. Let's see. Have you said anything about the bill? The death penalty bill? Have you said anything? No. Ekowa, have you said anything? No. Obiano, have you said anything? No. Ugwani, have you said anything? No. Ulan, have you said anything? No. Otom, have you said anything? No. They are all dumb and quiet. Nobody's talking. I 
and you are empowering them and your your guess is that maybe it's not going to work that is your own assumption that is your own assumption one thing is to assume something and the other thing is to face reality there is no smoke without fire they just didn't come up and say that and if you listen to the conversation between um, uh, Kunle and um, al Haji, you see you might regard it as a conversation, but everything Al Haji said has unfolded and come to play. It is playing out, and you are witnessing it. They have destroyed all your farmlands from the borders of uh, Eastern region to your coast. Every village in Biafra land is feeling the heat of the Fulani's Fulani men's activities. The cattle husbandmen, the Maiti Allah, the bandits. And what law are they making? The laws that will stop you from repressor. And they will tell you, live with them. Please them. Honor them. Pamper them. And then you will give you peace. And still you give them the land, they are killing you. And this brings me back to the question of who are these people committing these crimes? You have your sons and your, your, your daughters serving, killing their own people in the name of military. You have your own people serving to fight Boko Haram. The same Boko Haram that is enlisted in the same military you are serving. And then they will select you and take you to Sambisa Forest. You that is a Biafra, whether you are from Ekom, uh, Nembe, um, Obar, uh, uh, Umunede. As far as your name depicts a beer friend, you are going to Sambisa. And that is where they will eliminate you. And you still have our people sheepishly enlisting. And they are going. If you are a soldier, you are meant to fight foreigner, not your own people. You cannot be sent to kill your own mama and papa. And you go and do it. You are the biggest fool in life. And uh, this soldier is crying. This soldier is crying. If you notice, you see we have a lot of challenge in the country. And what hits me, what pains me most, it is the way we the security when it hits the civilians. Brutalize them and molest them. It is not the right way we're supposed to be taking care of our civilians. Our civilians are who we're supposed to be guided, not being the one who's supposed to be molesting. I don't want to talk too much, I'm eat. If you notice, you see we have a lot of challenge in the country. And what hits me, what pains me most, it is the way we the security men hit the civilians, brutalize them and molest them. It is not the way we are supposed to be taking care of our civilians. Our civilians are who we are supposed to be guided, not being the one who is supposed to be molesting. I don't want to talk too much, I'm eat. Your civilians. Uh, because uh, you got injured. At least you have the guts to speak out. Then what are the other soldiers doing? Have they questioned the authority for asking them to kill innocent civilians? And these are the people, the civilians, the very civilians that are not armed. You are robbing them in broad daylight, depriving them of their hard-earned money, and then you strip them naked. Because they couldn't afford to pay you. For the fact that they cannot afford to pay you, that is why they should be stripped naked. Embarrassed. You disrupt the economic activity. One top of the time you descended on Bear France, the IPOB, because they were marching peacefully with clear road 
for other commercial activities to take place. What reason did you give? Oh, they were dist uh, disturbing economic activities. Today, your own disturbance supersedes so any other type of dis disturbance I can think of. You mount roadblocks. You have sealed off the east and then Odu Duwaland. And now they are understanding what is happening. the way it is. Uh, that's what I'm going through. It is getting time to maybe change equipment. It is, it is sad. Very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad. When I say sad, it, it, it is sad. Very, very sad that people will say because they are in the military you are sent to go and destroy your village for no reason you go that is why we are shit holes questions are not asked in the appropriate quarters where questions are supposed to be asked and then the soldier will tell you whether you like it or not we are going to do it then who is in charge And we meritoriously pointed out to you that you are under military regime, dictatorship. No, you did not believe it. But it is happening. It is unfolding. And you are watching it. They are shooting. They are shooting, and you are watching. You are watching. You are not saying anything. You have, you assumed, even if you are not voted in, you assumed the responsibility to be a protector of your people. Are you protecting them? The answer is no. Instead, you are collaborating with uh, the perpetrators of those that inflict inhuman acts on innocent people. And you are telling yourself you are a soldier. You are meant to defend the people, not kill them. But when you cannot defend the people and kill them, ask yourself if that is why you entered the army. Some of you entered to go and commit robbery. You extract money from innocent people. As if that is not uh, the end of it, you molest women. And um, Burari had a Jibril had a, a test of what it is to exercise um, freedom of expression in London. He had a, a test of it. If it were in the zoo, they will settle and shoot. They will shoot. 
shoot until the magazine is empty because the Almighty is talking. The Almighty is talking. He is not supposed to be booed because He is God. But once you assume office that you are going to serve the people, the people deserve the right to express themselves, to show you how they feel about your performance. That is how they are rating you. That is how they are evaluating you and that will make you a better person. If you feel you have been disgraced, you shape up. This happened uh, in London on the 14th. Nigeria in Lo Nigerians in London, numbering over dozens, reportedly accosted officials at the Abuja House, believed to be President Muhammad Buhari, booed him as they drive across without addressing them. In a viral video footage shared by Premium Times and recorded by one revolutionary, Tunde, showed several people holding placards and banners Bearing Sahari Reporters Publisher, O Moyele Sowere and Elza Zaki. They were shouting consistently, Ole, Ole, running after the official cars. Now, this is what their friends have been doing. And now you see why. If everything is done, Chronologically, at the same time, it will have weight. It will carry weight. And this is with specific reference to what is happening in this zoo. They have declared war on you. When I say declared, they have not, they have partially made the announcement. And they tell you they are conducting operation this and that. They have closed the borders, but that one in Daura is open, as I mentioned. And now every bit of corner you go in Biafra land, in a month and plus few days you'll be celebrating your Christmas. And it will not be a joyful one. Tension mounts in Niger Delta as military anchor gunboats at Tompulu, Oparosa Creek. You heard me right. Tension mounts in Niger Delta as military anchor gunboats at Tompulu, Oparosa Creek. In your roads, any time you cross into Biafra land is full of soldiers. Now the Navy is blocking the creeks. And you're telling me you don't know that you are fighting a war. You don't know that they are slowly cheering you up. Why are they there? Why are they blocking the creeks? 
because you refused to talk when we were talking. And you thought you were free. Oh, it is south, south. It is southeast. It is not, not. It is south, not. It is you. As long as you are within the boundary of old eastern region, you are enemy, you are Igbo, and they will kill you. I was happy yesterday. I was very happy yesterday. From what I got yesterday, I know that people are beginning to believe what we've been telling them. Don't be fooled with PDP, APC, and uh, whatever nonsense they are using. That is the guys they are using. You say you, are, you, are, you, are, you belong to PDP, and when it was time for you to uh, exercise your right as PDP, APC cross it to, uh, to PDP and tell you to articulate. And you have, but what, what gets to me is that you have energetic cues. You think that they have common sense after wasting their parents' money to attend universities. You think that they will have common sense. Then they will carry their placards and come and say, articulate. And that got me. You see danger. And somebody playing with your intelligence, and then you are campaigning for that articulate. And today, where is he? He told you, I fought a good fight for you. The very day he zoomed out from APC, I said, Watch out. This is a plan. Guess what? It turned out to be so. And he said, I'm going to court, and then they replaced uh, uh, that uh, uh, Chief Justice and put the Fulani man there. We told you from this radio that why they are doing this, that when you get there, he will squash. He is going to squash every of your legal procedure. Was that not what happened? And then you get people jumping out of that. If you don't replace the chief, if you don't put back the chief's justice, we will do this. You did not do a shit. So you cannot talk when it concerns your village. We must talk together. I will warn these governors again. I will tell you governors again from Biafra land. If as of today, you are still operating that you are governor of South-South, that you are governor of Delta, that you are governor of uh, um, Bayelsa, you are governor of Abia. Your days of questioning is nearing. When you watch your parents being mowed down in front of you, your guilty conscience will kill you. They are doing it now. Tell me what will warrant the closure of the creeks with gunboats. They have closed the borders, but Daura border is open. Listen to this, this victim that escaped the um, killings of their friends. They have been killing, killing innocent bear friends. And this man escaped. And then narrated the atrocities these soldiers have been committing. Committing on bear friends. They are killing. They are killing. And they are still killing. What are your crimes? None. You are Biafran. That's why you must die. If you are not a Biafran, why are you in detention? Even though you are from South South. Even though you are from Cross River. Even though you are from Akwaibo. Why are you in detention? 
And what are your governors doing? What are your senators doing? They are not there for your interest. They are there to benefit themselves. And you see, they have all gotten ready, prepared, packed, and ready to leave. Anytime the blood starts flowing freely, every corner, they'll be ready to jettison. You are patrolling the creeks. Why are you patrolling the creeks? You're checking smugglers. You are checking for Biafran smugglers. You disrupt their economic activities. They cannot fish. They cannot farm. They cannot travel from one point to the other because you have blocked the creeks. And when we were telling you, you thought you were different. When this rubbish started, they started kidnapping the Amanyano boss, the chiefs. And then they told you that it is the bandits that were doing it, the, the militants, the miscreants. I could remember Uche Mefo shouting to the top of his voice. Why are you accusing innocent people? No, it was them. It was them. They went to Aquabum, they did the same thing. Kidnapping the urbans. And they say, no, it is the militants. And then they, they, they will see innocent young man. They will execute him. And tell you they are uh, conducting operation to flush out uh, uh, um, what do, what do they call them um, cultists. And they continue, continue to kill, to kill innocent Biafrans. It will never end. It will never end. United we stand. Divided we fall. It's been there. We've been saying it. We've been shouting it. You have no other you left other than Biafra. That's all you have left. That's your only option. They have surrounded you. They have closed everywhere. And then they're expecting you. Make your move like you're playing draft. Remember, look at the board. You are playing draft with your opponent. And he is giving you free food. Take this. Take that. Take that. And take that. And you have your bottom wide open. Then he picks up his uh, damaging bead. Bam, 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 bam. And then he calls you Tiboribo and you you're wired up and angry. But when he was giving you the free food, the free bid, you never complained. You never complained. When they were giving you the free Ghana must go, you were taking it. And you felt you were rich. Then you turned out to be 
mightier than your father mightier than the villagers where you came from those that you drank from when you were growing up you drank from the same place now they are useless we will open the phone line very soon Good morning. Welcome. Go ahead. Go ahead, um, Rabbi. Welcome again. I said go ahead. We are listening. Okay, I want to bring my, uh, my colleague first. I want to bring him to Is it okay if I can take a call before you start? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, so I'm trying to bring him over. Okay, I can take a call. I can take a call from other. Once you call, once you all come on the air, just cut off. I'm, I'm calling him now. He's gonna pick up. Okay. It's, it's ringing. Hello. 
Give me five give me five minutes, please. Then I have to you on air already. I have to I have to call back five minutes. Yes, okay. 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 okay, thank you very much. Call out your name and where you calling from. Okay, your line is up. This is uh, the devotion, the Thanksgiving. Uh, this is their turn to come on the air, so they'll be on air shortly, within five minutes. So, in case they call um, in for the prayer, it's a national event. I will cut you off if you are speaking. So, don't get angry when I cut you off. It's the needful. That's what we devoted to do today, tomorrow, until the program is over. So, it's just to let you know. So if you call and you you are talking, and they call back, uh, I will disengage you. It will be happening every day, depending on the uh, channel they are using. If they are using my channel, that's what you get. If they are using Mazi Onibe, that's what you get. If they are using um, South Africa, that's what you get. If they are using Middle East, that's what you get. Uh, the call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight that is the call number you are listening to live broadcast from radio biafra usa and usually you have uh, uh, these kind of um, interruptions so let's go back to we are free from feudalism. With the best of illumination, we are free from uncertainties. Let us all know. Tell her your name and where you're from. I'm calling for the platform. The platform is in the local government. It's because I didn't see the other land. And how I start laughing to Chico Kadema, please. Because uh, this week is a uh, week of praise and um, adoration. So Chico uh, Kadema, of how you have made everything possible for us, starting from then and just till now. Because we will not be our father, but because <laughs> That is what I'm trying to say. What about uh, rush and rush and go and join the new people of Jaffa? That is the only thing that can give you whatever that you're looking for. That is the only thing. The only place that you can even see a woman, talk like a woman, and even talk like a woman, and even feel at all, even the best of food. You can't get that condition that you can't even do so called Nigeria. Look at how our brothers and sisters, the cost of the slaves of food, they are now selling us. It's just like if you know what happened. How many people are down like that? You know, because of just a place for them to just uh, patronize the so called Al Safrani, who is in the Asso uh, Asso or whatever they call, so that they can even get a place to speak of people. I thank God. This was a this particular time. Because it's just like a, uh, uh, during the time of uh, Moses. Because Moses played in a time. That the children of Israel, leader is both. And that is how AKK okay, okay, was not saying that we are the man in the canon. And I said, this is a very person have not joined this struggle. Yes, but they will be sorry. Nigeria is not even. Uh, 
uh, sorry, I have to disengage you. I want you ahead of time there here on the air. Caller, go ahead. Hello, sir. We are here. I'm Rabbi Charles. I'm with uh, Pastor Frederick uh, Wahia. He is also standing by. We are here to uh, make some prayers and thanksgiving unto the Lord. Uh, Pastor Frederick, can you go ahead? You have 15 minutes. One time you want me to come in, you let me know. I can come in, but you have 30 minutes in all. Go ahead, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, God bless you. Am I coming out clearly? Go ahead. Yeah, you are coming out go ahead. on my side. Okay. God bless you. My Z, Alozia. Can you hear me? Pastor, go ahead. We are listening to you. Go ahead. God bless you. God bless you. I want to thank the friends. Uh, all over the world, I want to say hello to them. Those that are in the morning, good morning. Those in the afternoon, good afternoon. Those that are in the night, I say good night to you. Um, today we are going to have uh, the remembrance of our uh, beginning of our struggle, the establishment of establishment uh, of IPOB worldwide. Today we are celebrating the anniversary, glorifying God for what He has done for us. So we are asking all of the advanced worldwide to join us in this particular place. We thank you for joining us. God bless you. Let us start moving on. Yes, now we can say the 70th year is today. Yesterday we started the program. Today is European all over the world. John is saying thank you, Father Chuko for what you have done for us all these years. Sustaining so our leader, our supreme leader, Mazin Nandukano, through all the whole time he was in the castration in the hand of the zoo government. We are thanking him for the life of his family who supported him. Our men and women from Biafra land who supported us this struggle up to today. We are going to praise our father, Chupo for his word. He spoke to us and to our leader, saying that he will sustain us in the days of trouble, in the days of hard time. He has fulfilled his work for these seven years. Many thought that we would have been closed by now. Happy we would have been gone by now. But we are still stronger and stronger. And Biafra will be restored. All this thing we have done, it is by the heart of Almighty Tuko Kabiyama. It is not by man. Therefore, we praise him. Be down, exalt, be down. Exalted be down, exalted, O Lord, heaven, adore the earth, adore the be down, exalted, O Lord, hallelujah, our Father, be down, exalted, exalted, be down, be down. Heaven, adore the earth, adore the Bida, exalted, O Lord. Bida, exalted, Bida, exalted, Bida, exalted, O Lord. Heaven, adore the earth. I don't be there. Exalted, O Lord. Father Chukokabe, we thank you. Abba Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Ancient of the days, we thank you. Yes. Immortal Redeemer, we give you praise. Yes, Lord. We worship you. Yes, we Lord. adore you. You have done what no man can do. Yes, Lord. You have done what no woman can do. You have made those people, uh, people to be talked about all over the world. 
you have fought our battle. Yes, Lord. You have made it possible to become possible. Yes, Lord. Those who doesn't know us today, they know IPOB. Yes, Lord. They know our struggle. Yes, Lord. They know what we are going through. Through our leader, Martin and the Colonel, who have been leading us through the glorious Father, Tukokadiyama, who have called us together, who said their friend must be restored, that we are sought you today. Thank we you give Lord. you thanks and praises. Give you all the glory and praise. All Lord. the glory, all the honor. Yes, Lord. Yes, all Lord. the adoration. Masha we Masha say thank Masha. you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You yes, are Lord. the one that leaded this struggle. Yes, Lord. And you will finish it, Father. Yes, Lord. You will be exalted in our lifetime. Yes, Lord. Men and women will praise you in the street of the land of Biafra. Although even though we have lost many, we have lost many, but we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Dear friends, we want you to let us look at one of some of the verses which we need to look at. Yes. This will be taken from the book of Psalms 124. And it says, If it had not been the Lord who was, our, who was on our side, now for Biafra, say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. And when their wrath were kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then we poured waters. What has had gone over our soul? Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prayer to their teeth. Yes. Our soul is escaped as a bear yes. out of the sinner of the followers. The sinner is broken and we are escaped. Our head is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and the earth. We thank you, Father. Thank Daddy, you. we thank you. Lord. We thank you. Blessed be your we name, Lord. You. Blessed Lord. be your name, Lord. I will hand over to our dear, my dear Rabbi. Yes. You can go in, I will come in again. Okay, and we great. praise Father. Yes. yes. Great. I, I greet dear friends all over the world, friends of dear friends and lovers of freedom. It is our Thanksgiving period that we are in now. Just like our beloved reverend said, if it had not been for the Lord who had been on our side, where would, where would we have been? The Lord has been on our side from the beginning of this movement till today. The Lord has been on our side. I want to read something from the book of Psalms, chapter 36, 136. I want to read from verse 1, 4, 10, 11, 12. Okay, follow me. Chapter chapter 136, the book of Psalms, verse 1. He said, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his for he is good, and for his mercy endures forever. He goes further to say from verse 4. He said to him who alone does great wonders for his mercy endures forever. I go to verse 10. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy and just forever. But I repeat, to him who struck the zoo, Nigeria, and their firstborn, for his mercy and just forever, and brought out Israel, the children of Israel, IBOBs, IBOB, and Biafrans from the zoo, among them, for his mercy and just and just forever, with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm. For his mercy and death forever. And I want to I want to stop here and es, es, explain because sometimes we read in the word of God, but we don't know the real the real reason why we should thank God. And some of some of us might be sitting in our you know uh, you know uh, limited areas. We don't see across the border. We don't see what is going on around the world. I 
And some of us may ask, why should I thank God? I have lost somebody here. I have, they have barricaded us. I remember our, um, our moderator, I call him Larry King of our time. And he said, they have sealed the land of Biafra. I, when, when I had that, something struck in my spirit. And it, it, it reminds me how the enemy, when Yeshua Machia was here, they conspired and they murdered him. Not only murdered him, they stripped his clothes. They buried him. And not only that they buried him, they rolled stone close to his, to his grave, to his tomb. Not only that, they seal it that he can't come out. They know that he will definitely come out. They had him saying, if you kill me in three days, I will rise up again. They explained it to them, to Pilate and all his cohorts. And they sealed, they sealed the, the tomb and made it impossible. Not only that, the station soldiers there. Let me tell us something. When Mazia Mazia was speaking, the Spirit of God quickened me to see what he was saying. So likewise, in the city, in the situation of Biafra today, it, when you look at it, let me tell us, when you look at it and see the military, the soldiers, when you look at it and see what they try to do to our leader in his home, and they shot 28 people, including animals, animal, and they killed so many people, Difference, even on their ways, uncounted for, on the people that we are not numbered, we are among the dead. And when you look at it, you would, you would think in your in your mind, how can this be? How can this? How can this Biafra be restored? When we look for, for a period of months, we didn't hear from our leader, and so many kind of put off. So many said it will not happen anymore. So many gave up. So many moved to the other side, and. Uh, those that are strong in the Lord remained and believe what our leader said. I want to tell us this because I'm quickened by the Spirit of God to speak today. I want to bring us back to what God did in Egypt. Do you know that the contest, what happened in the palace of Pharaoh, was foretold 400 years before the time, 430 years before the time, because they did not understand the timing and the season. They lingered, they added additional 40 years. God wanted to release them at the at the period of 390 days, 90 years rather. But when he Moses wanted to do that, they didn't understand. Moses fled and went to Midian and spent 40 years. That brought it to 430 years. Do the calculation. And when the time came, God said to Moses, at the backside of the desert, he said, go back to, to the palace of Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go. Moses, being raised in the palace of Pharaoh, understand the dynamic and the power that Pharaoh carries and said, this is impossible. I cannot do this by myself. How can I go and deliver them? And God said, you, do you know who is talking to you? And Moses said, yes, by the way, what is your name? And he said to, he said to Moses, tell him, I am that I am. This is an open shake, brethren, dear friends, and friends of your friends all over the world, it was that was an open shake. People always missed or misquote this thing. They said, I am that I am. It's not. He said, Tell tell him I am that I am. Anything you put after that, I am that that gives life. I am that that can restore the nation the, the nation of Biafra. I am that that can take children of Israel out of bondage. I am that that can destroy Pharaoh. I am that that can give you wealth. I am that kind that can give you money. That is what I am. That's what Elohim told Moses. Um, Moses asked him again. He said, I cannot speak. I am not eloquent. He said, who created the dumb? Who made the blind? Who made the seeing? I am th I am that. You see? I am that. I am. I, I can let you speak fluently. If you believe me, if you trust me. And Moses was a bit jittery. He said, Put your, drop that rod down. Let me tell you. Drop the rod down. And this is the encounter. When Moses dropped the rod down, the rod became serpent. Moses fled. He said, take it by the tail, not from the head. Take it by the tail. He took it by the tail, and the, the serpent became rod. His faith strengthened. He said, put your, arm, your, your hand in your bosom, in your armpit. Put it there. He put it there. He said, bring it out. He brought it out. He became leprous. He said, put it back again. He put it back again. It was healed instantly. He said, now, are you, are you convinced? 
convinced. He said, yes, Lord, I am convinced. He said, now go to Pharaoh. When you go to Pharaoh, I will begin to guide you on what to do and what to say. Don't act before I tell you. Don't speak before I speak. I will speak first before you say. So many of us are speaking before our leader. Let him speak. When you speak, we will carry it, we will carry it out. I want to bring us to something that we don't know. Before this incident, when, when Satan took the children of Israel out, there was a declaration, a contest made in heaven. That Lucifer, Lucifer that we call Satan today said, I will enslave them. I will, I will find them. I will destroy them. And they will never come back. Yeshua HaMashiach will be born in Cairo. And he will never born, he will never be born in Bethlehem. And that was the contest. The contest was about Yeshua, the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach. And God said, do your worst. Let me tell you, Nigerians, Elohim said, do your worst. Do, you have the time to do your worst now. Put your soldiers there. Get barricade everywhere. Burn the marketplaces. Do your worst. When the appointed time comes, I will take my people out of that place. I will cause death in the land of that zoological republic. People will die. Firstborn will die, depending what God said that will die. Death is not a threat to God. Because God creates life. He gives life. He, he even makes death to happen. It is the same God. When he, he spoke to Adam and Eve, he said, the day you eat this fruit, you shall surely die. That was when death came into being. Death came in the Garden of Eden and took them. Let me, let me, con let me continue. When, when, when Pharaoh, when after, after the first encounter, the, I, I, want, I want to say on the first encounter and the last encounter, when the first encounter happened, the water, the, the, the serpent, when, when Moses dropped the rod, the rod became serpent. And, 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 um, and Pharaoh said, is that all you can do? Don't you think I have magician? He called all the magicians and said, look at what he did. Can you do the same? He did, they dropped all their rod and it became serpent. And, and what happened next was the, all, all the serpents of, of Pharaoh lined up. And the serpent of Moses, the rod of Moses, that became a, a serpent, swallowed them up. He swallowed them up. That was when God invited them. I've said it before in this program. I will say it again. That was when God invited them for interview, for talk. So tell me what you did in the land of Egypt. And all the demons behind the serpent began to speak to Elohim. When Elohim began to hear, he said to Moses, Now go to the river, go to the river Nile. Touch the road, there, the road, that water will become, will become blood. He began to undo what they have done. And now, let me go to the final aspect of it. When God showed every showcase his wonders, he said, now, take them out. Pharaoh said, you can go. Take everything and leave. Nigeria, we said, oh, the Zoological Republic, we said, oh, Biafran, take your problem, take everything and go. I am decreeing and declaring today, that the zoological republic, the handlers, those in foreign countries, those within the cabals, they will speak and say, we can't bear this trouble anymore. It's too heavy for us. We can't contain this death. You can leave because we have seen that keeping you down is destroying us. And that is what is going to happen. I wasn't around when the struggle began, but I am around today as a minister of God to speak and to declare what God perfected in eternity and what he perfected in eternity is that Mazin Namdekano our supreme leader will be born and he said again not only that he will be born he will be sent on this errand to restore Biafra and that is what is going on so many are in doubt so many are asking questions how would this thing happen just like Mary asked he said
and that even there is no boat that can take us across the other side. How Moses, we should have died in Egypt and dying here. And Moses said to them, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For this Egyptian that you see behind us, behind us, you will see them no more. The Lord God will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Therefore, the Lord God will fight for all of us and we shall hold our peace. He said, Get the people to move forward. Therefore, move forward in your struggle. Therefore, move forward in your agitation. Therefore, move forward. Don't relent. Move forward in your giving. As you are giving, move forward. Give more. As you give more, it will come to a point that Elohim will be moved. The, the hands of Elohim. If you could see the giving of Cornelius in Acts chapter 10 and said, I can't handle this in anymore. Send Peter to talk to this man and tell him what to do. And when they came to that point, that was when the Red Sea parted and they all walked through. And Pharaoh and his horsemen drowned in the sea. Now, I take it to find out to the time of Yeshua HaMashiach, when he was crucified, they, they rolled the stone away, they seal it up. The station soldiers there, like you see soldiers in every pool in Biafran land, and the station soldiers, and they put a seal. And when the time came, an angel of God came down there. They all fell asleep, and the stone was rolled back. Remember, Yeshua Mashiach was buried with that cloth. They, they actually bandaged him hand and foot, just like they did to the, that Lazarus. And he said to, when he came to the tomb of Lazarus, he said, roll him, roll the stone away. Mankind did it, and mankind had to remove it. When he came, he said, Lazarus, come forth. When Lazarus came forth, he was bound hand and foot. When they stripped him, he was naked. But when they stripped El Elohim, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, when he resurrected, remember, the soldier took his cloth. Who gave him the cloth he was wearing? I want to ask their friend this. You are thinking in your mind, you are reasoning. When Yeshua HaMashiach appeared before the disciples, was he naked or was he dressed? That dress, where was it made? If you can answer me, you are close to the you are close to the answers to you are close to the solution to what is gonna happen to the zoo. He was resurrected, but when they buried him, there was no clothes. When he appeared to the disciples, he was wearing clothes and shoes and sandals, sandals rather. What who gave him that cloth? How did they how did they know his size? How did they know the size of his feet? His father Elohim in heaven was monitoring him. He knows the size, he knows your problem, he knows what you have lost, he knows what they have killed, he knows the maiming, he knows the closure of the border, he knows the the, the, the Python dance one, two, and even at Ilobu. he knows everything. I want to tell us, bringing this in conclusion, that Elohim said to me, our leader, Mazin Nandekano, I, I have given him mandate to do destruction for the zoo. All you need to do, we need to do, is to pay attention to his instructions. If it is given, give them, give, give willingly, give cheerfully. If it is moving forward, move forward, and Elohim will bring it into conclusion. Praise be to the name of the moon. Most I God Elohim, Chukoki Kabiama. My brother Frederick, you can continue. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Rabbi. Yes, God bless you, dear friends. I will see thanking you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, my dear Lord. Your ways are not a ways of man. We thank you, my dear Lord. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Chukukabiyama. Your way are not a ways of man. We thank you, my dear Lord. Father, we thank you. Your ways are not the ways of man. That's correct. We continue praising you because you are That's God right. and we are not God. We are That's praising Lord. you because you are God is A and Amen. We That's are praising Lord. you because you said I will deliver my people from the That's hand Lord. of the enemy. And you That's did Lord. deliver us. You That's have Lord. made us today to be united in one voice, under one leader. You have given us the power and the glory to go before our enemy. We have already ordered us that Biafra will be restored. May we not do it, but you will learn. We will call the north, but we will not answer. We will call the south, the south, 
question will not answer. We call the question, they will not answer. We yes, call so them, yes. but Ma, only you answer us. Yeah. Only we alone will restore their friends. That is their yes, work. They yes, they will surely gather, but every gathering that is not done, they yes, will Lord, scatter. Lord. They yes, will Lord. scatter. Therefore, we yes. say thank you, Father, because thank you are scattering our enemy. In thank the you, north, Lord. in the east, in the west, in the south, Lord. Lord. anywhere they are, you are scattering Lord. them. Lord. You are gathering their friends together. You said that the war must surely come to pass. That we believe in you. We thank you for what you have done in our life. We thank you for the glory. We thank, thank you for you, the honor. We thank, thank, thank you for the praises, Lord God. We thank you for those who died, who put the who, who, who came out and died for this cause. In Paul, they died. In River Niger, they died. Our people were dying in Guacha. They were dying everywhere. Mighty my Father, God, we, thank we thank you, mighty God. We thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The rest of that, those men, those yes, who Lord. have no faith, they have yes. no faith in the Lord. That we have faith because we have faith. Because we have faith, we shall prevail against our enemy, against yes, all the odds. That because yes, you have not the faith, because no man can receive only to them you are given. No yes, man can speak only to them you are ordered. Today you yes, are not only to speak before all the powers of darkness. To say glory be unto to the Holy Father, oh, yes, the creator of man and woman. According yes, to your Lord. word, all things were made by thee. Nothing was ever made before thee. Therefore, oh, yes. my dear Father, take the glory. Take that take glory, Lord. Take the honor. Yes, Lord. Take the praises. Oh, yes. All over oh, yes. the African land. Begin to oh, heal yes, our people. Begin to deliver oh, them. Begin to restore oh, yes. wisdom. And knowledge unto our former leader, Martin and the Canon, and his deputy, which are my four, and Chick and Dusim, and all the members of APOP, whatever they are, that they give them wisdom to parallel this struggle. That when this is all over, only alone will be praised in the land of Biafra. We give you glory because you answered us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. May your name be highly exalted. May your name be highly honored oh, in all generations. We shall be in the house of the Lord, praising your name. Thank you, Pierre France. Thank, Thank you, you Lord. lovers of freedom all over the world. Thank you, those who have been supporting us from Thank east, you. west, north, and south. You're all the presence of the world. Those who have been supporting us in any form, we say that he, remember them. Remember our dead souls. Thank yes, you, Lord. Daddy. God bless Thank you, Pierre France. God bless you wherever you are. Thank you for getting us today. God bless you all. God bless you. In God we serve. Thank you. My Alozi for having us. God bless you, my Alozi. God bless you. God bless you, my Alozi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shalom. 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 Bye. 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 We are back to the uh, normal programming. Phone is back on. So we'll be having this every day till the twenty first. You are listening to live broadcast from Radio Delta USA. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Hello. Yeah. Um. Good morning. Welcome. Your name and where you calling from? My name is uh, Pastor Udechi Ibama Okoro. Um, I reside here in Finland, and I happen that today is uh, the day 
uh, praising the name of the Most High God, Chukwuke Kabiyama. Um, forgive me, so to read our scripture, which was uh, which is important to every every freedom fighter, to all the Biafras, men and women uh, of good will. In Psalm uh, 148, uh, from that one I read, Praise you the Lord, praise you the Lord. From heaven, from the heaven, praise him in the height. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heaven of heavens. And ye waters that are, that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. He had also established them forever and ever. He had made a decree we shall not pass. Praise the Lord. From the earth, ye dragons, and all these, fire and hell, snow and vapor, sun and, and wind fulfilling his world, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle creeping, Things and flying fowls, kings of the earth, and all people, prince, uh, prince, and all judges of the earth, both young men and leaders, old men and their children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, to glory above the earth. And heavens. He also exalted the hearts of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, that's the children of Biafra, all the people near unto him, praise the Lord. So, the next text is, uh, yes, sir. Uh, Psalm 124, 124, those are, that in Europe, then uh, all of you, is uh, open. So, I read, if, I read from the last one, if it had not been the Lord who was our side, now, may therefore say, if it had not been the Lord, who was on our side when men rose up against us? Then they had swallowed out our feet when the rock was lifted against us. The water had overflown, overflown, as the steam had gone over our soul. The sound of us. A gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is as a bed out of the snare of the fire. The snare is broken, and we are scared. Our head is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. On this junction, I glorify the name of the Lord, the choosing people, the royal priesthood. That it is prophesied that uh, the Lord will come by Himself to take us out of darkness, the zoo, into His marvelous light, that by the rising sun. And then um, it's written that when um, 
the 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 children of Israel, of old, of Peter, and all the elders were afraid of themselves. And God walks forth a young man of David. And he walks forth the young man of the man of the kind of the world. And he looked at the 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 children at the hand. The Lord he said, Who are you? Uncircumcised. Who are you? Uncircumcised. The hope of the three times of cancer and the support of the three times of the numerable. But to look at them, who are you to defy the army of the living God? And the African sent your servant, Madonna, the carnival, as David of old, and you to make sure as a matter. Oh no. Who has delivered the liars in the hands of David? And he gave the kingdom into the hands of the David. And they ruled the people. And they told the whole Israel for forsaking the Lord from the, the, from the soul. And now the Israel worship the Lord of the host. And God says, so what about David? So have you seen my father David? And we keep him covenant forever and ever. And Lord, today I hand over the young man, Nandi, as David of old. That David of old was chased away by the soul, by the mighty soul. And in the wilderness, with his army, we brought him for 20 years. And he came back and got victorious. So also, the armies of the zoo drove him and out. And they began to group all the happy of the Japan. And they marched victorious. Today we are seeing, we are praying the song of victory. As we shake the world of Jericho with prophets, our prophets, our thanksgiving, so the foundation of the zoo shall be shaken. That is so angel that go ahead. But when the Joshua approached him, he said, Who are you? And when we talk, he said, I'm the captain of the army of the host. The captain of the army of the opera, go to zoo. Because he said, You turn the, the wisdom into foolishness, and the man is mad. So, all the counselors, all the counseling of the, and the abattas of the zoo, turn them to foolishness. And they did that. They are mad, oh God. Whether it's British or all the father of the media turn them to foolishness and make them mad. And they are coming out with the program of madness. They will continue to come out with the program of madness. So, Lord, that the Biafran, which are destined, I know it, your father, more and more, that every black iron, every door shall be opened as he speaks of his word. Any country that enters. Because it is written in Jeremiah, that's what uh, Jeremiah Randall said. He said, the Lord has said to this day, over nations and kingdom, to root down, to come down, to uproot, to destroy, and plant and build. So, every arm of the zoo called here, Lord, as we speak of your servant, Madden and the Kano, let all their struggle be destroyed. At his voice, let their kings and put a princess mouth. Lord, but you build this new nation. Any time that you pray, Lord, talk that prayer into foolishness. Turn that begin to foolishness. But surely the Afra shall come. So all the Afras all over the world rejoice because your victory is ordained by the Lord. God bless you. My name is Pastor Benchi, the National Pastor of the Lord Children, Christmas, the Lord Ministry, and the Lord. I am from a minority of a woman who is a lady in the Uku and no Maria. In Adia State, the Afar Land. God bless you. God bless all the presenters. God bless the Afar World Wide. God bless our own. Nande Kano. Adi. Thank you.
Thank you very much. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. We are observing our rights, religious rights today, and that's open. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Hello. Yeah, are you hearing me, Mada? Go ahead. Hello, Mada. Are you hearing me? Yes, go ahead. Are you hearing me? Yes, go ahead. We are hearing you. Okay, Mada. You can make a good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. I know Mada. I know Mada. Calling from the Great Shades of War. Under Trinity Church of Christ. Okay. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, the people of Kikabi are going bless you and bless our spirit at Mazin and the Kano and go to the Mazin Channel 4 and they all have called Afra worldwide who are working as a city to make sure that total restoration of Afra is in the store and then the people of Kikabi are on a day to bring people of Kikabi are we 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 thank you for the karma for what you are doing for us, and then we say we will continue to do in the life of the Afra in the restoration of the Afra. We continue to bring you until the Afra is the restore. We can no more surrender to bring Almighty to for the karma. We ask for the for the karma to help us. I restore our restoration of the Afra in our side. And uh, I believe Tito Kitadama has done it. And they think that it is a place Tito Kitadama has played. And they uh, are urging our people to remain themselves. Evangelize. Go a part of the Afra in the local villages and by the high because of Tito Kitadama. Very soon, the Afra will be restored. Don't mind what they are doing. Tell you no speech, no speech. Last time in 2014 to 15, I think who go to Zaire Mohammed at tell you no speech, and they all of them must go for hanging. They will die for hanging. No, don't mind the zoo that I complete for concerning the matter of free speech. All of them have entered committed. They commit to pay concerning free speech. And all of them must be punished from one to all of them. They are, they are punished for things concerning the speech. What we need is not the speech, is not our problem. What we need is total restoration of the Afra, or nothing of the Afra is our concern. Thank you, Mark. I cannot hear any better problem. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Call uh, your name and where you calling from? Yeah. Mother, good morning. Good morning from here. This is Madam Omar from Oregon. Welcome. From our mama, in Oru is local government in all the province. My dear brother, uh, we are on, under the way of a priest and the way of the God. Thank God for our the life of all ideologies and the ones that is dead, God shall at the last day they will rise and be at the right hand of I pray that God guide them anywhere they are for all in the prison. The state that you guys are alive today. We we'll thank God but God will bring these guys out from there. Yeah, I thank God for everything that is doing for ideology for us who stay here today because like we want our brothers pray for <laughs> the time they went to our 
for people to change the people they, they, you you planted in the fertile ground will grow. So the people that stand firm with flower leader, believe that God that has started doing this and bring a, a leader that will complete it. So we thank God today for whatever God is doing for us, we glorify God. Philip Schofield here. Did you know that... Whatever you were doing. Agency, we buy info. We know what we are doing, and even the Biafra, they will be free on their own even because they are in bondage where they are. So, my dear brothers and sisters, please help us to try to know this that outside of money is there something like that. It's outside of money. Thank you, my dear brothers. God bless all our duties. But God bless all our presenters. God will keep you guys for what you guys are doing for us. God will pay you guys back in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. This is Madame Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Call her your name and where you calling from. Yeah, Mazda, the baby from here. Mazda, I'm going to say to you, give me a good head. Mazda, you must see the Afra. I'm going to watch and see the Afra together. We appreciate what you did for us. Mazda, my dear, I'm going to call my name as a true place. I am only a chairman.
but today it is we are more than sure we are double sure that Biafra has been restored through IQD. So will it be that if we give the houses the opportunity to be able to entangle themselves from their cap from their capital, the Fulanese, definitely they will join us and I believe that their friends are people of freedom. We want everybody to be free, both the houses, both the middle belt, both the wooded ones. We want everybody to be free. If the flag is having your place to go and settle, they will go. So I want to beg their friends, it is going to be very difficult for you to adapt, separating the two. But we should keep on trying our best. I was told yesterday that somebody from Khan, Wamara, is now in, in his program. So that is to show that uh, uh, they are watching up. The little bit, I'm happy. I've read a piece of, uh, piece of newspaper that have actually indicated that they are trying their best to make sure that they disassociate themselves from the Northerners. They are no longer Northerners. Everybody, Mazin and the Kano has, has opened everybody's eyes. God has used him to do so many miracles. And at the end of the day, we will be happy together. Because this is the, the, the mark that Africa will definitely be free from the, from the hand of the we get one, the, 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 the Europeans, because almost all the Europeans conspire to do this very nonsense. For those of them who really want to be innocent, you come out and prove it by supporting this struggle. Mother, and may God continue to bless you. In fact, today's very program, you are, the, the, the analysis was so wonderful, because when you use the draft to do your station, it really pinched my heart. Take these people, uh, this, our so-called governors and senators, they have given them freedom of good. When they were accepting those things, they forgot that in no distant time, these people will completely be in, in charge. They will be their masters and they will serve as slaves. And today that is what is happening. So this analysis, it remains for those who are in the to know that as for here, we don't have leaders. We should rally around our, our, our leader, Martin and the Kano, and make a strong hold that when the affair is finally restored, they will be among those that will be our leaders. Not for those who are in their friend and who are into politics, none of them is our leader. They are just leading themselves. And I believe God really puts protocol on their face. Definitely they will, they will be full of shame when their friend is restored. And their children, if they do repent now and denounce their evil parents, definitely I don't think their friend will contain all of us. Thank you, my brothers, and God continue to strengthen you. The Lord continue to bless you, bless you. All the broadcasts that you guys are doing us proud. We are always happy hearing from you every time of the day. The is always on. And you guys have devoted your time in, in, in serving humanity, not just their friends. Humanity, the entire humanity. We God continue to bless you, my dad, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you very much. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Call her your name and where are you calling from? Ma, good day, sir. Good day. I'm good day. Welcome. Uh, are you, are you, are you yeah, I'm hearing you. Go ahead. We are listening. Okay. My, uh, my name is uh, Andre Tudor Hammer. My name is 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 I must wipe all the other families who are away, including their families. That's my topic. If it's all you have, if what happens now, if it's all you have to broke now, I must wipe all the other families who are away, including their families. Come on, join IPO the quick week now. The others, come on, join IPO the quick week now. I don't, I don't, I don't tell you, please, join IPO the quick week now. Come on, come on, join IPO the be quick now. Otherwise, if war happens now between Nigeria and the Afghan again, I swear, if I don't say it, I will shoot you. If I don't say it, I will shoot you. I will call you a Kabutua. Because am I in the Bundi? Am I in the Arese? No matter how big the Afghan language you speak, I don't care. Because many Gabas are Kabutuas or the Outer Borders. They do best for us, they do want us, they want us, and they fly for us. Listen, 
up to now, up on the whole over things that the planet are doing. Still, a those little birds are still climbing out of inside their mind and spoken on their upmarks to do the world. They are not, they are not out of and in the Three days ago, some of some within Corinthians women, within Corinthians women, told me that they are not with the others at all. They said, if they join with the others, full of names will kill all of them. They said, if they join with the others, full of names will kill all of them. Like why they are those, the ones and the best. That's what they are saying, all kinds too. It means, when another will happen again, they will team up again with the full of and fight with the others again, as they did before. Even though they have a talk, they talk, they say. So, advice will go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, angry man, thank you. Uh, you should be updated with the uh, events. Don't let the past occupy your mind. Go with the present and uh, you will be made whole. We proceed with caution and you know that too. The column is plus one. Four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. If you follow the the sins and the lost life of our people, you will kill everybody. And I think uh, you are not going to turn uh, to Boko Haram. <laughs> well, we have seen us in Biafra land, and uh, time will tell. We have sabos. Call her your name and where you calling from. Call her your name and where you calling from. Hello? He's taking your, Hello? your name and where you calling from. We are listening to you. Call her your name and where you calling from. I don't know the services they are receiving. You pay to receive services, but those services will be shortcoming. It will not be full service. But they are getting your money. They are paying you for, uh, they are receiving money from you uh, for electricity they are not supplying. And you are paying them for full services they are not providing. And they, they refuse to listen. When you may complain, they label it head speech. Don't talk. Don't talk. We'll talk for you. Call her your name and where you call her from. Call her your name and where you call her from. Um, uh, good evening from here. Good morning. My name is Jibouti uh, Eneni uh, from Obuya. Obuya is a uh, Agua Brewery, the Afghan land. Uh, we should know that uh, we don't have a leader. We should call the governor, or we should call the uh, minister, or we should call the... Uh, hello? We yeah, are listening to you. Go ahead, we are listening. Make sure your radio is not on. We are listening. Yeah, it's the poor services. That's uh, what we we're talking about. It's beginning to happen. They get on the way. They block everything. They call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Call her your name and where you calling from. Aha, uh -huh. uh, my, my, my wife, right. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I just now connecting you. Go ahead. So, what you believe is that uh, this show was going on. And then uh, the problem that we are having here in the uh, in Yanagawa is that uh, the user area, you don't see the uh, radio by the time, unless we move from Yanagawa to the user area. So, we will be moving. Yeah, we will, we will try and uh, see what we can do for your area. We are trying. 
Are you listening to me? Uh, that line is gone. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning from here. Yeah, you sound very far from your phone. Can you reposition your phone and, and start all over? Yes. Yeah, that's colors from my wife. Um, that line is very, very faint. Call your name and where you calling from? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm uh, fine. My name is Chinku Emmanuel. Welcome to Emmanuel. I was speaking for my. From New York. Yes. I thank God for today. I thank God for our leaders, all the principal officers who are doing everything to see that this song is moving forward. I thank God for you, my family, for your kindness. Because when you look up about Nigeria and the problem in Nigeria, sometimes somebody will feel so bad that by this time some people are still thinking of Nigeria. Of all this. However, I encourage all our people, both our leaders, and all of the principal officers who are watching them in the out for this work. Today, I want to talk about clothing of water. Some people don't know the meaning of clothing the water. The closing of water means good like you close somebody's mouth and nose. They cannot even bleed or talk. Our people are always uh, making their, uh, their food from trading, from my and selling. We are from, from the southeast and the southwest. Before a border will close, does it mean that the Nigeria they don't have constitution? There will be a process before a border will close. And there will be a time giving the people before the border will close. This is a thing that we can see every man. It's put a new retired soldier that they, fish, they, they put as a head of a custom. They will come with, with their brother and cover and a house of clothing water. People of, billions of our people doing this work from Kotonou and all of the whole places, their goods were trapped for about two to three months now. If you pass out, so many people may be dying, may be dying one by one. Because all their money was trapped. And the frozen, uh, frozen, uh, frozen, uh, goods almost have gone. And the senators, so-called senators from the south, and the west, and the governor, both sides, they close their mouth. Because they want to be one of here. And the northern open the, the northern open their border. 
I'm telling you, if this border, you can close the northern border for a day, you see her fire in Nigeria. How long? How long? How long? These people don't tell us. And how of we present it? We just forget about the apostles and reason and think about ordinary person. Ordinary person are dying. The money has passed for over three months. He said you are closing water. You are making more money. What type of money you are making? Where are you putting that money you are making? It's not in your private pocket. Two like this. If you have to your private pocket, how much money where you put the money you have gone for all this while? I feel very, very sorry. When I hear some, when I think about Nigeria, when I hear about this useless country called Nigeria. However, because of another person, let me allow me, but before then, the uh, Onya Nekwoku, Onya Nekwoku, um, Mama Eta Kwoku, okay. Onya Ram, come to the Onya Ram. Yes, angry man. Yes. Angry. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes, we are listening to you. Go ahead. Yes, well, thank you. I'm just speaking to my people now. So please keep on keeping on. May the Lord Almighty keep up your hands, my dear sir. We do come to strengthen the people. We push it right, and we are seeing this thing. We are seeing the positive result. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. The call number plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. This will be the last call. Um, whichever call that comes in now will be the last call for the day. Live broadcast from Radio Biafra, USA. You see, we are responsible for our future. And we cannot leave our future in the hands of people that don't care about us, people that don't like us. And we can no longer be hoping. I don't know what we are hoping for. Sorry, your call. Um, your call came in late. And I don't think I can be able to get you back in. Um, I'm very, very sorry indeed. We we leave it uh, for tomorrow. Um, whoever that missed the call, uh, eleven thirty-two. That's where we'll be ending it. This is where we'll be ending today's program. Uh, tomorrow is Women's Day. They will be on the air tomorrow. And I hope uh, you will be there to enjoy their program. You'll be there to enjoy their program. So whatever 
uh, whichever way it goes you see they are presenting you with facts and figures that's what counts they present you with facts and figures so we wish everybody safe movement safe movement you know what i mean you move around you watch your neighbor look out for your neighbor pay attention don't exclude yourself don't say it's next door not me because t after next door it will be you after next door it will be you you see when people burglarize they burglarize certain area and they have skated that area they have studied that area therefore they know the weak points of that area and they will continue to um, operate do the unthinkable so watch out for your brother watch out for next door and raise alarm protect 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 your environment thank you all